you can eliminate moles now. Step 1. Locate the active tunnels. Look for runways with fresh dirt pushed up and use a half inch dowel or your finger to make pilot holes. To make finding the pilot holes easier the next day, mark the holes with flags or another easy to spot item. Be careful not to crush the tunnels. Now wait until the next day. Sealed holes indicate that a mole has passed through and the tunnel is an active and good location for setting the tall bread mole trap. Step 2. Preparing to set the trap. Use your heel to make a 1 inch indentation across the tunnel. The mole will push up this indented dirt, triggering the tall bread mole trap. You can use the built in depth gauge to confirm the proper depth. Now, use the trap jaws to mark the width of the trap on both sides of your indentation. A sod cutter or square spade should be used to cut guide slots across the tunnel. These slots clear any obstructions and allow the jaws to set more easily. Step 3. Setting the trap. Insert the trap into the slots you've just cut. Step straight down on the end of the yellow foot pedal. With firmer soils, more force may be needed. Work the foot pedal down until the trigger post comes through the slot in the foot pedal. Use your foot or finger to press the trigger post down and flush with the foot pedal. The trap is now set and ready for that mold. Step 4. Mold Capture and Removal. A raised foot pedal indicates a mole has been caught. You can easily release the dead mole by placing the trap against the firm surface and compressing the foot pedal. Step 5. Moving and resetting the trap. Release an untriggered trap by stepping on the foot pedal and pressing down on the trigger release button. Tall bread mole trap can be used again and again. Topwood Mole Trap, Bell's newest innovation in mole control technology.